Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, B, and we back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best build for your fire um, character. Now, listen, I know a lot of y'all have been telling me to touch grass, but I can't, bro. I cannot touch grass, bro. Not right now. Not right now. But trust me, we be touching something green. It ain't grass. I tell you that. But it's a cousin of it, though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, hey, listen, if you if you won't get it, you won't get it. But make sure I leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 8K subscribers. We've been growing super fast, bro. I'm telling you to subscribe now, bro. Subscribe now so you can be like, yo, bro, I know that guy. I know that guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be like, nah, 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 nah. You want to subscribe all later and stuff. And it's too late. Trust me. Trust me, bro. Tr trust me. All right. First thing is first, right? <clears throat> you're probably wondering, bro, what could possibly be the best build for it? For it? And yes... Yes, it's gonna be it's gonna be OD. It's OD, bro. I'm not gonna cap to you. So first thing is first, you get lightning. You need lightning. You know what I'm saying? You have to be the controller of lightning. Then you gotta get dual lightning. You know what I'm saying? Double lightning. You gotta get double lightning. And you will need dual subclass. So like that, you can also use combustion, my friend. And as you can see, my combustion is blue, right? Y'all probably wonder like, yo, wait, hold on. Combustion is blue. Hold on. Yes, you will also need blue flame. These are all a part of the strongest build. Now, you're probably wondering, yo, bro, how do I get blue flames? You do the prodigy raid. What's the percentage of the drop? It's a 0 0.5. This is the build that you need. The prodigy raid is located on the fire island. How do I get to the fire island? Um, You have to be level 60, and then you'll be able to see it. But if you tune into my live stream that I stream every single day, we can we higher levels can carry you. In a prodigy raid like you from you hop in there with a guy like me that can you know just shoot blue flames out his hand control lightning you know and shoot missiles out of his head like it's nothing you know what i'm saying that can do that, that that can do some real damage that can do some real damage and this is my main slot and then this weapon also you know what i'm saying there's a nice little stun and it lasts very long you know you can combo that up left and right so now y'all probably wondering, yo, bro, what's your stats? What's your stats, though? We see everything you got. I hear you. I understand what you mean. All right, my stats, right? I'm running 156 in health. Honestly, didn't even even need to put. Let me see. What's my, what's my money at? Which my money at? I'm going to reset this real quick. Because I'll just put 150. Oh, hell no. Right, and then we'll put, we'll put, um, just put one on this one. Right, I'll do forty here, and I'll just put the the the, the rest of the ten down here. Nice. So that's a, that's the build I'm gonna run now because before I forgot why why I did that. But 603 is, is, is good for me. 603 for stats is good for me. And keep in mind, the reason why my health is 603 is because of the armor I'm running. Now, you're probably like, yo, bro, what armor are you running? Does that apply to your build? Yes, it does. Now, we're going to break down the armor for you real quick. We're running the Prodigy armor, right? Now, you're like, yo, bro, how do I get this armor? Prodigy armor, you get it from the raid. Bro, what's the percentage? What's the drop rate? Um, it's a 1% chance of getting it. At least I think so. Don't quote me on that. Now, this armor gives you 25% stamina, 20 resistance, 80 element, 35 health. It's pretty broken, if you ask me. And now you want to get this mask. Yo, bro, where do I get this mask? Because it also gives you resistance. And now you're probably like, yo, bro, what's resistance? Resistance is like resistance to elements. So if I'm getting burned by something... You know, you just want to get less damage. You're going to need some resistance to that. All right. So that's what that is. Um, 40, um, 45 percent melee from this match, which is good because you're not putting no melee stats in and you get three percent more health. Great, great, great. And now you're probably like, yo, bro, what does element mastery do? Like, bro, put two and two together, bro. It helps you master your element. Come on. You do a little bit more damage. You feel me? A little bit, a little bit more damage can't hurt. It can't hurt. And now you're probably like, all right, cool, cool, cool. I feel you, I feel you. Is there anything else to your build? Yes, there is. The staff also gives you 25% more damage. 
You feel me? So when you put that together, what does it give you, bro? What does it give you? You get 70% damage. Hold on, let me make sure that's right. Let's make sure that's right. Oh, yeah, that's seven. That's right. You feel me? 70% more damage. You feel me? You always got to correct to make sure y'all always paying attention and to make sure y'all what y'all doing. So now, if y'all want to copy this build, bro, let me know how your journey go. Now, listen to me. When I say this, bro, it's going to be a tough journey, bro. It's going to be a tough journey. Let's see how many of y'all could replicate this build and actually could finish it. And honestly, this is the strongest you can be as a firebender. And if any of uh, y'all disagree with me, comment it down below. And I promise you, I promise you, bro, that this is literally the strongest that you can be with a firebender. There's literally no other sub abilities. You know what I'm saying? You have both of them. You have blue flames. You have the strongest armor. You know what I'm saying? For your, your, your class. So, hey, tell me if I'm bugging, but I ain't. This is the strongest that you can be for a firebender. Yeah, make sure I leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be catching y'all on the next one. And as y'all saw when I started my video, I also have earth, wind, um, and water. And they all have pretty strong subclasses. So don't worry. They will all be coming, bro. They, those are, bro, I literally have the strongest builds for each and every element in this game. I worked hard for it, bro. Trust. Trust and believe. I'm 5K Robux, man. It's making me sweat just thinking about it right now. Hey, leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the family. Catch y'all on the next one, though. Brush your hair. Take care so you can grow without any despair. I'm just joking. Um, but, yeah. Eek is out.